You're welcome to Top 10 Art News Channel. We were talking about Top Top 5. Best Recent TV Comedy Series. Number 5 Arrested Development, 2003, Present. This show is just lovely. It is full of insane and colorful characters, from the crazy gob, pronounced jock, who wants to be a magician, to Tobias, the mismatched husband of Portia de Rossi's character, Lindsay, who is a never nude and is clearly as gay in the show as his wife is in real life. The quirkiness of the family is amplified through the eyes of the rational straight man, character, the awesome actor Jason Bateman, as Michael, who is father to George Michael, the horny teen who falls in love with his cousin maybe. The family is led by the narcissistic mother Lucille and the businessman father George, who is on the run due to selling model homes to Saddam Hussein when trade with Iraq was illegal. The basic premise is that the family members screw up and Michael runs around trying to fix things. Many episodes revolve around the family's second business, a banana stand, and their awkward association with their Mexican servants. The cast is really quite brilliant together and the show is a total hit you'll want to go back to again and again. It was so popular in fact, that it has been revived not once, but twice, in 2013 for one season, and again from 2018 to the present. Even the funds turns up as the family's bumbling questionably sex criminal lawyer. A. 10 historical events with hilarious forgotten details. Number 4 Veep. 2012 to 2019 a comedy show about Selena Meyer the vice president of the United States of America that no one really likes Republican Democrat who cares in Veep they are all a disaster and the show intentionally does not brand the vice president with a party affiliation with Seinfeld over Julia Lewis Dreyfus needed a new vehicle for her amazing talent she found it in Veep she is bumbling rude politically incorrect. In one episode, her staff list all of her nicknames from the internet. Grizzly Madam, she Meyer the Liar, The Pet Cave, Pesfus the Wicked Witch of the West Wing, Veep Throat, Voldemeyer, Diklas Van Dyke, Tadri Hepburn, Blunder Woman, Veselina, Betty Poop. The awkwardness of Selena really shows most clearly in the hilarious interactions between her and the Prime Minister of Finland, Mena Hakkinen who, in all honesty, should have won M. Emmy for her recurring role on the show. On the other hand, Louis Dreyfus' performance won her six consecutive Primetime Emmy Awards, three Screen Actors Guild Awards, two Critics' Choice Television Awards, a Television Critics' Association Award, and five consecutive Golden Globe nominations. If you've watched the show, you'll know why. Julia Louis Dreyfus is perhaps the most talented female comedy actress of our time. Number 3. Friends, 1994 to 2004. I had to include it, didn't I? It's not my favorite, but Friends stole the heart of millions and maybe even billions of people around the world. The Ross and Rachel saga kept people talking at the water cooler. And time after time, the silly comments or mannerisms of the characters entered real life and influenced how we all spoke and behaved with each other. It is true to say that Friends, more than any other entry here, defined a generation. The inclusion was, surprisingly, not that easy as I was very close to including Frasier instead. Another favorite that at least gets a bonus spot below. But there is no denying it, a list like this without friends on it is not a list worth reading. Muir. 2. The Office, US version, 2005 to 2013. Ricky Gervais? Meh? He's okay. I mean, when he's going off, half drunk? At the Rappi Hollywood celebrities at the Golden Globes he's great, but otherwise, so-so. And I know I am going to upset a lot of people here, but the US version of The Office is simply better than the British one. It follows the exploits of the staff of Dunder Mifflin, a fictional paper company led by the indomitable Steve Carrail in his best role ever. There's little more to be said of this show. It is the one series that most of you will have expected to see on this list because most of you will agree that The Office, in one of its national forms at least, deserves to be on the list of the best comedy TV series. Oh, and if you want to experience a moment in which two worlds collide, here is a clip from The Office in which Ricky Gervais, David Brent, bumps into Steve Carrail, Michael Scott, outside the elevator. Number 1. Curb Your Enthusiasm, 2000 present. 
take a neurotic Jew who can't get anything right despite every attempt to do so, a happy-go-lucky best friend with a foul-mouthed ranting wife, and a group of great but faded comedy actors from the 80s and 90s. I'm looking at you Ted Danson, Jason Alexander, and Paul Reiser, and you have Curb Your Enthusiasm. Created by Larry David, he's the neurotic Jew, and he plays a fictionalized version of himself who created Seinfeld, and clearly based much of the character of George on his own real-life exploits and foibles. Curb Your Enthusiasm is largely ad-libbed with the storyline being put together in advance. The acting ability of the amazing cast makes this work so well that you simply can't tell it isn't all brilliantly scripted. The show is witty, curringy, dense, and thick with cultural humor. Similar to Portlandia, this show has a fairly politically outspoken creator but, also like Portlandia, it just doesn't spoil the comedy. Larry David is that good. This is how you make comedy that doesn't need preach. The show is certainly no friend to every political position, but it is also not vituperative. It is getting harder to find good comedies that don't take cheap shots. Curb Your Enthusiasm is the best. It will go down in history, in my opinion, as being better than Seinfeld, and the best comedy TV series ever contrived. Best Moments When Larry hires an orchestra to play Wagner hits outside an Orthodox Jew's house because the man had argued with Larry earlier in the episode and his daughter toilet papered Larry's house on Halloween after he refused to give her candy because she wasn't in a costume. Plus Frasier, 1993-2004. This one is a little old for the main list, but it's worth mentioning. It did, however, run for four years into the new century and is being picked up for a new series, yay? This is a spin-off from the hit show Cheers and follows the exploits of Fraser Crane, a radio psychologist, and his family, an ex-cop dad who is a man's man, and a brother Niles who steals the show. Constantly. Niles is married to a very wealthy woman who we never see, but now to be thinner than a pin from the constant jokes about her weight, but falls in love with Fraser's father's live-in. Physiotherapist, Duffy. The Niles and Daphne storyline is a bit of a cerebral Ross and Rachel. In fact, the show, on the whole, is quite cerebral and highbrow. The humor was never dumbed down for the audience and the result is one of the classiest and funniest comedies peaking into the new millennium. If you want more than just a general best of, here is a compilation of Niles Crane's best bits. Plus Plus Seinfeld, 1989-1998. Leaving this off the list is almost immortal sin as it is considered by many to be the very best comedy show in television history, across all nations and periods. It happens to be one of my favorites. However, it didn't even make it to the 21st century, so it misses out by not being recent enough. But the show is so huge it can't go without a mention. I still recommend it for when you get through the others here. But whatever you do, don't watch the real life racist rant on YouTube that basically ended the career of one of the stars of the show and I don't throw around the word thanks for watching.